it's going to be a rather short video. A lot of people have been having trouble getting the pin out on a lot of these Carter pumps. They've rusted in. Usually you just take the, the soft plug that's in there and put a chisel on either side of it and in between the bottom of the plug and the casting. Just keep hitting it from side to side and it'll eventually work its way up. And what you'd normally do is just grab the pin in the center with a pair of ice, uh, ice a pair of needle nose and just slide it up. If that doesn't happen, a lot of times there's a lot of rust in there and you can't get it out. So what I've done is what I do is I take a 530 seconds drill bit and I'll drill a hole right in this spot and take a 1 8 inch punch and just run it down to you'll, you'll know it when you're on the pin and just start tapping on it and it will push that pin right out the other side you just keep hitting it through if you don't have a 1 8 inch drill bit and uh, punch you can take a finish nail grind the end flat and use that to, to knock the pin out but it'll drive it out once that pins out put pressure on the on the diaphragm assembly and that arm will slide right out and the diaphragm assembly will come out and that's all there is to that soft plug comes out first if you can't slide it out with a pair of needle nose pliers come in from the other side and drill it out and just knock a, knock a hole through it I usually go with the 530 seconds because it's a lot of times when you start going down with this it's not exactly in the center of it so you can't go up onto that it's a little too hard to go up on it so you come in at just a slight angle and you'll be off you won't be right in the dead center it gives you some room the 530 seconds gives you room wiggle room to get in there once the rebuild is all done and the new pin is in you can either leave that plug alone, leave that hole alone, or put some JB Weld in there if you if you feel like you might leak some oil out, which you won't. But put a little JB Weld on it, let it harden up. Don't forget to put the soft plug back in. It should come with the new uh, with a kit. Now, if you bought a kit from us. This is what you'll get in it. You get a rivet, valve plate, and you'll get this conical spring. It assembles very easily. It was just like that. Now, if you want to see it in uh, after you've knocked out the old using that one eighth inch punch, you've knocked out the old valves. You'll see a a uh, like a a mushroom shape on the top. Then there's a spring, and then there's another one of those valve plates like I showed you a second ago come in from the other side and just constantly tapping not real hard just just keep tapping away at it and it'll knock that right out throw all that stuff away you're not going to use it the new valve we take the rubber valve plate put it on first the spring with the wide end towards that valve plate and then the rivet goes down inside 
catch it on the center of that hole. And it's probably better to use a use a bigger punch. Just set it on top and just tap away. You want it to come through the bottom about that much. It's about maybe a sixteenth yeah, about a sixteenth of an inch. And that's all there is to it. If you go to put this in and it goes, it slides right through, when you put that rivet in, what I do is I get an, a nut. Nick just started out as a five sixteenths nut. Put it down on your on your table or on your vice or whatever and set the head of that rivet right on top of it. Get a dull punch put it in the center of it and give it a hit and it'll just mushroom that bottom of that rivet out enough so that it won't pull through and do it all the time it works I've never had a problem never had them come out and you do the same for the other valve valve plate spring the small part up large part down against the plate, the rivet in and tap it down and come through about an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch I should say. And that's it. Any questions? If I left something out or went too fast, leave a uh, message in the comment section down below. And if you want to pick up a kit, Contact us at 781-335-8860 or on the web at then-now.com. If you haven't already, click on that subscribe button. Click on the little like arrow and don't forget the notification bell right underneath on the right hand side. Thanks for watching and be safe.